the News Channel 20 Sports Desk, sponsored by Route 66 Solar. We are just two days away from the month of May, and while I may see it as my birthday month, high school sports fans see it as the start of the spring playoff season, and while the weather has been up and down as of late, teams are preparing for this final stretch of the regular season. The Argenta Oriana softball team is off to a stellar start to the year, and with only two weeks left until the end of the season, they will enter a difficult stretch of games before gearing up for the playoffs. Argenta Oriana is 15-2, and, and they are currently on an 11-game win streak, heading into a big matchup against an 18-3 Mount Zion team. This team looking to keep that momentum going through their final seven games. Some of them, some of the games right there are going to be involved in in some of the postseason, you know, matchups possibly, um, and then the other games, they're they're going to be basically their test to see how good you really are. It's really important to take every game like it's our last game, and I think as long as we all stay together like we have been the whole season, we can go very far. The Bombers are led by four seniors who have been the driving force behind this great start to the season, and their hard work and dedication has trickled down to the underclassmen as well. Our senior group is small, but we all get along really well, and I think we all work very well together on the field. We've been playing together since we were very little, so it's really nice that we have all been able to play together since we were young. We've stuck, stuck together through a lot of years. I mean, we've been together since middle school. I mean, Ani joined us a couple years ago, but we're just a really good group together. We work together well, and it's fun to play with each other. With their start to the season and momentum on their side, while they're looking to take each game one at a time, they're also having big goals in mind for the end of the season. Honestly, I would really like to make it to state. I think we have a good chance this year, and I think we can do it if we keep going at the pace we're going. Obviously, I have high hopes. I really would like to go to state this year, you know, kind of in on a really good note my last year. Um, but wherever we end up is where we end up, and I just hope we end up on a really good note. The Bombers return to the field on Tuesday at home against Mount Zion. And former Glenwood Titan and Clemson Tiger Will Putnam signed with the Raiders over the weekend after going undrafted through seven rounds. Putnam was a five-year offensive lineman with the Tigers starting in 49 total games. He will join a Raiders team in desperate need of help at the offensive line position. And Illinois' Niccolo Moretti is entering the transfer portal after two seasons in Champaign. Moretti played in limited minutes this past year after battling a foot injury to begin the season. Moretti is the fifth Illini to enter the transfer portal this offseason, joining Sincere Harris, Amani Hansberry, Luke Goody, and Dane Danger. We will have more on all those stories right up on our website. That'll do it in sports. I'm Dante Furco. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.